Hey everyone and happy Tuesday. You know what day it is. That's right. Another Tuesday, another tip with it's your girl hashtag who J Lone in the building. Hey, thank you guys so much for continuing to watch and give me suggestions and um you know, anytime I walk in the streets or I walk into it, it's it's uh it's J Lone, it's J Lone, and I just really appreciate your support. So before I get into my video, I did want to tell you thank you. Um, I also want you all to do me a favor today, and if you could stop and just say a prayer for one of my friend's sweet daughters who is in need of some serious prayers. Um, I don't want to get into why, but if you can just pray for God's healing on her body, um, on the doctors that are caring for her, and for a complete miracle to happen, I would really appreciate that. All right? Um, today is National Teacher's Day, and so I tell you guys all the time, I give teachers 100% um, credit for what they do. You have to have a true, true passion um, to help our kids and they help our kids for our futures. Um, I can remember my favorite, favorite teachers back in the day who have made an extreme impact on my life or have shown me um, uh, uh, easier ways for me to do math, which is something I love. And every teacher had an impact on me. And I just wanna say thank you to the teachers that continue to teach my three kids um, who taught me when I was younger and who continue to have a love and passion. So show them some love this week, uh, whether it's just a thank you card, a, a flower, a gift card, make sure you show them some love, all right? So I'm gonna get into my Mortgage Tip Tuesday and this one's good and actually, uh, I was actually a little confused at what I wanted to talk about today because I always wanted to make something impactful. And so I had this scenario come up and I thought, wow, this would make an amazing video. So the question is, is it better to offer less or should you ask the seller to buy down your interest rate? All right. So naturally, when you go to make an offer on a home, you naturally will say, well, hey, if I can get the home for less, why not? Well, I'm going to show you a scenario that may change your mind on whether or not you want to do that. All right. So again, I'm just here to provide my opinion. And um, if you like it, you'll use it. And if you don't, the world still turns, right? All right. So I want to show you a scenario. All right. So scenario one was this was the actual scenario, the actual seller's purchase price that it's listed for is $475,000, okay? And again, I can never give you true interest rates without quoting APR. So I'm estimating interest rates based on the market. And this is on a conventional loan with 5% down. Um, and an interest rate with the buy down that I'm talking about. So what I'm saying is offer full price and have them pay for your buy down, have the seller pay for your buy down. And this would give you an estimated principal and interest payment at this interest rate of 2741.84. Okay. But the buyer came to me and said, Hey, this is what it's listed for, but this is what I want to offer. And so can you run some quotes for me? So on this scenario, I'll bring you a little closer. It's 460,000 is what they want to offer. And the estimated interest rate without buy down um, on a conventional loan with 5% down payment would be 6.875 to 7%. But for purposes, I'm using 6.875 and it's going to give us your principal and interest of 287078. So if you notice at a lower purchase price, but a higher interest rate, you're going to pay $128.94 more per month at the lower purchase price with a higher interest rate. Now to go over, you know, even further, because, you know, I get people that are like, well, you're going to pay more for the home. 
I went a little further because I knew somebody was going to ask me that question, right? Your interest over the life of the loan at the 475 would be $564,014. and Sorry. $564,014. And this is, of course, if you never make an extra payment, never refinance, refinance or stay in this loan forever, right? Well, on this loan, at the lower price, your interest over the life of the loan is $627,876, which means in interest over the life of the loan, if you took the higher route and have them buy down your interest rate, there's an interest savings over the life of the loan of $63,862. It would be nice if I could speak today, all right? So even at the lower price, because of the higher interest rate, you're gonna pay more in interest over the life of the loan. Well, I took it a step further and I did, well, total payments over the life of the loan because let's be realistic, you're gonna buy the house for more here and less here. Well, your total payments over the life of the loan, of course, if you do not make any extra payments, that's what the scenario is on, you would pay $1,039,014. And on this scenario, lower price, higher interest rate, you would pay $1,087,000. Um, $876. So your total savings over the life of the loan would be $48,862. Now, I did take it a step further, but the reality is many people don't live in their houses past 10 years and everyone refinances, just about everyone. I guess I can't say everyone, but just about everyone refinances their home within the first uh, five to 10 years that they're actually in that home. And of course, when we're in a market where we are now, where you know, we have interest rates where, you know, they're not what we're, we've been used to because these are, these are normal rates, at least in the 17 years of my career, we're, we're very close to what we've always offered, right? But we got kind of spoiled in 2020 and 2021 with lower interest rates, right? So because the mortgage market or the housing market is so cyclical, at some point in time, if you held on to this home, you would refinance it, okay? So the whole point of me doing this video is to really, I should have changed the topic, and that is how important it is to involve your loan officer when you are making offers on your home because we're the ones, I'm the one that's going to give these scenarios and make you actually think do I want to do this or is it better for me to do this, right? And I think that that's what's super, super important is to really involve us in that negotiation so that you know all of the financials, you know you're out of pocket. Um, and some people may ask, well, what is the buy down? Well, the buy down is not super important because the seller's paying for it, right? You're not paying for it. Now, can you pay for it here? Yes, you could, uh, but I can tell you uh, it would be a lot of money, right? And so it's important to know that from this scenario to this scenario, um, the buy down cost per today would be less than offering them $15,000 um, under their asking price. So again, involve your loan officer, speak of these scenarios, because to me, if it were me, this seems like the better option, but if no one ever told me that, then I would never know, right? Uh, if I was the normal buyer, right? And so just involve your loan officer, let us help you through this transaction. Um, it is my pleasure. I do a video for my borrowers on their quotes. I break down their quotes and I go over scenarios like this so that my buyers get to make the best financial decision for their families. If you're looking for that type of help, then you need to reach out to J Loan. All right? You can reach me at 817 601 5456. As always, I want you to be safe, stay blessed, and talk to you next Tuesday. Bye bye.